Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Therefore celebrate the praises of thy Lord, and be of those who prostrate themselves in adoration. The Holy Quran, Surah 15, verse 98. The Shia Muslims prefer to prostrate on a small block of earth called a turba, which is usually made from clay from the land of Karbala in Iraq. According to the Shia Jafari Fiqh, which is one of the five main schools of law in Islam, prostration must be performed on pure earth or what grows on it, provided that it is not eaten or worn. This includes dust, stone, sand, and grass, provided that it is not a mineral. Prostration on paper is also permitted, because it is made of a material which grows on earth, but cloth or carpets are not permitted. The legal scholars of all the Sunni schools of law concur regarding the validity of prostration on earth and that which grows on it. Now the question is, did the Prophet and his companions ever do this? Well, praying on earth was certainly the practice of the Prophet and those around him. It is narrated in Sahih al-Bukhari, Volume 1, Book 12, and Number 798, in Volume 3, Book 33, Number 244 of the English Translation, narrated by Abu Sa'id al-Khudri, I saw Allah's Apostle prostrating in mud and water, and saw the mark of mud on his forehead. It's also narrated by Anas ibn Malik in Sahih al-Bukhari, the English Translation, Volume 2, Book 22, Number 299, We used to pray with the Prophet in scorching heat, and if some one of us could not put his face on the earth because of the heat, then he would spread his clothes and prostrate over them. According to this hadith, only in exceptional circumstances would the Prophet and his companions prostrate on cloth. The Prophet also used to have a khumrah on which he would put his forehead for prostration. A khumrah is a small mat sufficient just for the face and the hands while prostrating during prayers. Ibn al-Athir, a famous Sunni scholar, in his Jami al-Usul has written, Khumrah is like that upon which the Shia of our time perform their prostrations. It's also said in Talkhis al-Siha, page 81, that Khumrah is a small mat made from palm fibers or other material, and it is like that which the Shias use for prostration. Maimuna narrated that Allah's Apostle used to pray on a Khumrah, and it's also narrated, according to al shawkani another famous Sunni scholar, that more than ten companions of the Prophet have narrated trans traditions mentioning his prostration on a Qumrah. And he lists all the Sunni sources recording these traditions, which include Sahih Muslim, Sahih Al-Tirmidhi, Sunan Abu Dawood, Sunan An-Nasai, and many others. But why did the Shia prostrate on the earth of Karbala? The special characteristics of the soil of Karbala were known and it was an object of special attention during the time of the Prophet as well as in later times. Umm Salama said, I saw Hussein salam sitting in the lap of his grandfather, the Prophet, who had a red block of soil in his hand. The Prophet was kissing the dust and weeping. I asked him what that soil was. The Prophet said, Gabriel has informed me that my son, this Hussein, will be murdered in Iraq. He has brought this earth for me from that land. I am weeping for the suffering that will befall my Hussein. Then the Prophet handed the dust to Umm Salama and said to her, When you see the soil turn into blood, you will know that my Hussein has been slaughtered. Umm Salama kept the soil in a bottle and kept watch over it until she saw on the day of Ashura, the 10th of Muharram, 61 AH, that it turned to blood. Then she knew that Hussein ibn Ali had been martyred. And this is narrated in many sources, including Al Mustadrak from Al Hakim, volume 4, page 398, and Al Bidayah wa Nihaya of Ibn Kathir, volume 6, page 230. It's also narrated in, in Tahvib al Tahvib by Ibn Hajar al Asqalani, volume 2, page 348, that Ali ibn Abi Talib passed by Karbala after the Battle of Sifin. He took a handful of its soil and exclaimed, On this spot some men will be slain, and will enter paradise without reckoning. 
But is it compulsory to prostrate on the clay from Karbala? Well, the answer is that it is not. The Shia prefer to prostrate on this earth because of the importance given to it by the Prophet and the Imam from his family. After the martyrdom of Imam Hussein, his son, Imam Zain al Abidin, picked some up, declared it to be sacred dust, and kept it in a bag. The Imams used to perform prostrations on it and make a tasbih out of it and recited Allah's praises on it. And this is from Sunni sources, Al Manakib of Ibn Shah Rashub, Volume 2. Page 251. Shia sources also back up this view, including Misba al Mutahajid of Al Tusi and Malay Hadar al Faqi of Al Saduq, where it is narrated that the Ahlul Bayt also encouraged the Shia to perform prostrations on this earth, with the understanding that it was not compulsory, but with a view to achieving greater recompense. The Imams insisted that prostration before Allah must be on clean earth only and it was preferable if it was performed on the earth of Karbala. The Shia for a long time have kept this earth with them. Then, fearing that it might be desecrated, they united it into small tablets or pieces, which are now called mor or turba. During prayers, we prostrate on it not as a compulsory act, but in view of its special nature. Otherwise, when we have no pure soil with us, we prostrate on clean earth or something that originates from it. It is a pity that some people maliciously insist that the Shia worship stones or that they worship Hussein. The truth is that we worship Allah alone by prostrating on the Torbah, not to the Torbah. And we never worship Imam Hussein, Imam Ali, or the Prophet Muhammad. We worship only Allah, and it is in accordance with Allah's order that we perform prostration only on pure earth. This is the reason why Shia Muslims carry small tablets usually made from the earth of Karbala, which enables them to do prostration on this highly recommended object and to follow the sunnah of the Prophet.